Today on Orlando Experience, we're gonna take you out into the strawberry fields of Florida, right along I-4 to visit one of Florida's best roadside attraction parks. Located on I-4 between Orlando and Tampa is a great family park that you can spend a lot of time exploring and learning about dinosaurs. Dinosaur World opened in 1998, and if you love dinosaurs, if your kids love dinosaurs, if you just need a three or four hour break, to let the kids play, Dinosaur World is for you. Let's take a walk inside and check out this cool roadside attraction. So the entrance into Dinosaur World is through its main gift shop. Inside the gift shop, you can purchase your tickets, get drinks, and look at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dinosaur toys and souvenirs. So if you're a dinosaur fan, this is your Toys R Us. Once you walk through the main gift shop and you purchase your tickets, you'll exit through these back doors, which will take you into the main park. So Dino World is broken into kind of three main sections. There's the indoor museum, the entry plaza area, which is the kids play area, large playgrounds, dino dig. And then the third area is the actual dino walk. So as you walk into the main kind of play zone, interactive area, you'll see off to your right, the main museum, indoor museum behind the dinosaur here. So let's go on and take a look inside the main museum, which even has some animatronic dinosaurs to take a look at. So the museum area gives you a lot of educational opportunities to learn about the history of the dinosaurs and the prehistoric time periods. And it's really well done and very educational. This is very much like going to a science museum. Most kids, I think, will really enjoy this. The highlight for most kids will be at the end of the museum where they have some animatronic dinosaurs. kids play area located at the front of the park is broken into three sections. There's a toddler play area and then the main play area is for kids ages 12 and under. And then the third area is actually a fossil dig uh, play area where kids can go in and do some fossil digging in the sand. One other attraction that's located in the front entry of the park is the Dino Jib Mining and Painting area. Here you can buy for extra cost uh, little bags of sand that have gems in it that the kids can work through and, and pull out the stones. This then leads you into the main dinosaur walk. Once you cross this bridge, this is the main dinosaur area and is broken down into different sections, including a section for mammoths, carnivores, as well as many other different types of dinosaurs. So let's go take a look. So something that's really cool along the dino walk are these small plaques that label out um, plant life that is from the prehistoric era. As you make your way down on the dino walk, you'll notice that you'll end up on a boardwalk that takes you into a thick Florida forest with lots of shade that gives you a great, comfortable, enjoyable walking experience for your dino viewing. So here's a map of the park. You'll notice right here, this was the main entrance and shop. 
This was the indoor museum that we took a look at. This is the kids' play area. And then up here is the main walkway onto the Dino Walk. If you go to your left, you'll get to go into the Mammoth and the Giants of the Ice Age. And that's where we're gonna head first. So something that they have along the entire trail is learning areas that will teach you about the animal. So something I didn't know was that mammoths were still alive on Wrangell Island until about 4,000 years ago. Um, I looked up Wrangell Island and apparently that's located in southern portions of Alaska. Another thing that they do really well here is you'll find in most of the exhibits that they will have a section where the kids and stuff can interact with the animals that are part of that exhibit. Um, though, like here you'll see that there's no fence, the kids can walk up, get their picture taken with a couple of mammoth statues. Something I might point out is that this park has no food or refreshment areas, but you are encouraged to bring your own uh, coolers and have your own picnics. And they have several of these picnic shelter locations uh, scattered throughout the park for you to make use of. Then as you come up on each dinosaur, there will be an educational plaque that helps you read more about it. Uh, frequently it will tell you where the dinosaur bones have been found, where they think the dinosaurs live, uh, were they carnivorous, uh, were they plant eaters. Gives you just kind of a quick read on each of the dinosaurs and is very educational. So along the dino walk you'll find these uh, play areas as well. This is the boneyard where kids can go in dig through the sand, look for fossils that are buried in the area. And it's got a nice area for parents just to sit down, relax, and once you're done, a location to clean your hands off. Something else that you're going to find here that's really cool is all the different uh, trash cans are themed to dinosaurs. So it makes for a fun way for kids to throw away their trash and really blends into the park itself. The next exhibit you come to is the Skeleton Garden. Turning to our right will bring us into the carnivore boardwalk area.
located in the center of the park is obviously some of the bigger dino uh, exhibits, including the T-Rex. Also in this area, they have the Allosaurus, as well as, of course, the large Brachiosaurus. Also located near the T-Rex is another great photo op area with these baby T-Rexes. Another really interesting exhibit that they have here is about the dinosaur history here in Florida. So through this exhibit you learn about why there are not dinosaur fossils in Florida because most of Florida was underwater during the dinosaur age. It also talks about alligators as well as that during the Ice Age, Florida as a group um, larger in land mass was home to woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and giant ground sloths. So that concludes our tour of Dinosaur World. We hope you've enjoyed this tour. Um, we would recommend this park if you especially have dinosaur fans in your family, or if you're looking for just something to do uh, outside of Orlando and Tampa along the I-4 corridor, for three or four hours. Um, during the filming of this, uh, the ticket prices were only $20 for adults. So once again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope that you give it a thumbs up and also look to subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other videos as we take you around Orlando and the Tampa area and visit all the wonderful things that this region has to offer. Thank you for watching.